What's going on YouTube? This is yours truly, Dre the Plug, coming at you live with some more technical heat. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button below. Make sure y'all hit that bell button below so y'all can stay notified every single time I drop new technical heat. But let's get back into these interviews. Roll the clip. Hi, my name is Han and I am a mechanical engineer working in the aerospace industry. I went to Stony Brook University. It's a state school in New York and I did mechanical engineering, got my bachelor's and master's, and I've been working in the aerospace industry for the past five years. Started out at Pratt & Whitney in Hartford, Connecticut. It's part of United Technologies and they make airplane engines. And then I transitioned to their sister company, United Technology Aerospace Systems in San Diego, and we make the cells, which is the casing around a jet engine. Uh, we are now called Raytheon Technologies. We have since merged with Raytheon. And currently my role is helping with robotics and automation with the fabrication of composite nacelles. All right, so Han, so what actually got you into this field? You know, what made you want to cross over to the dark side and be a mechanical engineer too? Well, with mechanical engineering, I wanted to do something that was physical. I got really interested in engineering just by taking apart things and attempting to put it together. Not always successfully <laughs> when I was growing up. Uh, and it allowed me to get a broad sense of engineering. Uh, there is still a little bit of electrical engineering involved, a little bit of computer science. So uh, I like going through mechanical engineering. Uh, and in the end, I really enjoyed it and I'm still able to go into the aerospace industry, which is where I have my passion. And that's also why I am doing my little side hustle in drones because it has to do with aviation. Okay, Han, so what do you feel is the biggest benefit when it comes down to being in this field? Well, coming in, I kind of had an idea that mechanical engineering would be designing something but I didn't realize how big of an impact it was. Uh, for example, for my three summer internships, I worked in different industries from the transportation, locomotive industry to the oil and gas, both of them within GE. And then as a full-time job, I went over to the aerospace industry. So as a mechanical engineer, I had a lot of opportunities in many different disciplines. And that's what I thought was the best benefit of being in this field. Okay, Han, so what's something that you did not expect jumping into, you know, being a mechanical engineer and owning your own drone company? Like, what's something you didn't expect? It's kind of related to what I talked about previously in terms of how diverse your role is. You're not just doing one design role, uh, you're interfacing with a bunch of other people. So coming in and looking at a product and realizing that there was so many different teams and so many disciplines behind it was something I didn't expect going to engineering in general. And then related to that, uh, with creating my own company, uh, I kind of expected it, but also wasn't prepared exactly for how much work is involved in starting a company. So mad respect for anyone that starts a company. It's a lot of work and you have to put in a lot of time and there's not always going to be the nice everything successful stories that you hear there are plenty of stumbling blocks but in the end uh, it's very rewarding okay Han if it's somebody out there that's watching this video or somebody that's just now getting into engineering or even considering becoming an Emmy what's something that you want for them to you know take away from this video the most important thing is to find your passion and to work in it so I didn't realize how many different areas of engineering I already knew I wanted to do engineering. But uh, once I started doing internships and working and having a couple different roles in my current job, then I realized what I wanted to do was robotics and aviation. So I encourage you to, even if you're not old enough or in school to have an internship, start shadowing, finding out what the different type of engineering roles are. Andre interviews lots of engineers so you can get a taste of what the different type of positions are and see if there's someone that you can reach out to to learn more about it. 
uh, really make sure that you actually like it because in the end, it should feel like you're having fun. And that's how I feel my full-time job as well as with my drone company. Okay, so what's your social media? I mean, what's your contact? So the people that's watching right now, you know, they can stay in contact with you, especially if they're in the drones. You can find me at my website, sensofly.com, S-E-N-S-O-F-L-Y.com. I'm also on Instagram, sensofly drones, and I'm planning to be on YouTube soon. Okay, so for those that are watching right now that are probably trying to get into drones, what's some tips that you would give them? If you don't have a drone, I recommend you buy one commercially made for under $1,000. There are a lot of good ones out there that already have a 4K camera built in. And after you get a feel of flying those, you can use it for a variety of purposes. You can either do um, photography or you can also do mapping and inspection. And you can also look forward to upgrading your drone. Uh, there's another route to go, which is in drone racing the world of fpv drone flight and that's more of a freestyle flight mode where you can do flips and go over 100 miles an hour uh, so that's really fun just for the thrill of flying but definitely just start off flying and uh, get out there and see what interests you so what you know you becoming an entrepreneur are there any tips that you want to just throw out there to some of the viewers well the big thing is Find something that you have a passion for. Uh, I know it can be tempting a lot of times to go after the next flashy uh, whatever business idea, but in the end, this is what you're trying to do and you should really enjoy it. Uh, and I think that will show up on the long term. Uh, the other thing is I learned that as much as I love to try to do everything myself, you really can't and it's the only way for you to grow the company is to uh, have a team and build up from there. Uh, starting off, it's okay, but there's a reason why a lot of these big companies aren't just run by one person, but a team. So I think by my, my best experiences was working with other people. Also sometimes my most frustrating experiences, but in the end, when you have a bunch of people with different perspective and different skills working together, you can get a lot more work done. And it, it generally uh, is a lot more faster too.
And that concludes this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. It really do help my channel when it comes down to the YouTube algorithm. If you guys have any questions regarding anything, just hit me up on Instagram, hit me up on the gram, at Dre the Plug, one, two, three. And then also, go check out my other YouTube channel. This is actually my second channel. My first one was called Andre Classic Cuts. I basically go in and give tutorials about all types of different haircuts. I actually show people how to do different type of things with the clippers that has never been done. And I pretty much go into detail as to why certain things happen. So definitely go check out that channel. Besides that, be on the lookout for my next content that's dropping. Be on the lookout for it, because it's coming real soon. And I'm out.